Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you all are fine. So welcome back to English class. Now if you have seen the in the previous now, video of the English class, of the you poem, must be knowing that we started with the poem, the summary of the, the poem, quarrel. and tell you and in the previous what class is actually we did the reading in this poem. of the poem. And I hope you now all we know also that this read poem, the poem is written very well. by Eleanor okay. for now open your now books she has and today I am going to explain you the first, first stanza of the story. poem her quarrel so let's her begin with brother. the class now basically what actually what is quarrel over here it's the meaning of quarrel over here is argument so she says that one day she had an argument with her brother now how did that argument start we know that arguments start with small reasons right now if you also have a brother or sister sister we must be you know simply talking and suddenly while talking only we start fighting now we we must it must be a very small reason to fight for right but still we make it a big argument so she says this only that the reason was very pity pity over here we mean that the reason was very small but then they shouted at each other they started the argument and that argument that fight that quarrel that was very small at first but then towards the end of the quarrel it became like a very huge big fight and what happened they were claiming each other that no i am right you are wrong okay so because of that right and wrong they had a very big quarrel now what happened when we have you know when we fight we have argument with our brother or sister what do we say i don't like you i'm not going to talk with you right we say that i hate you okay we say this but it's not, not the actual thing we actually won't be hating them but it's just in the argument we have this dialogues that we say to each other right now they did not like to talk to each other till evening so the poet says that till evening they were not to each other Okay, and we do this even if we fight with our brother or sister for a while. What we do? We are not talking to them. We will be facing the other side. They face right now. Then suddenly, what happened after some time? The brother realized his mistake. Now, obviously, one of them would be at to be at fault, right? So the brother realized the mistake. He came and he said to his sister. that we cannot fight for this long and we cannot go on all night like this right so he said that yes i was wrong it was my fault we shouldn't have been fighting this way okay then uh, what did the poet do she also forgive the, uh, the forgive her brother right so this is how the fight got resolved now we also know that if we also fight with our brother and sister what do we do does our fight last for so long do we do that we don't talk with them for days and days no just after a while, a while one start irritating the other and then we start talking right it's just for a while that we must not be talking to each other okay so this is the whole summary of the poem the quarrel now let's start the explanation with the first stanza now come to the first stanza I quarrelled with my brother. I don't know what about. Now the poet is a saying that I quarrelled over here. She says that I fought. That is, I now quarrelled over here is quarrelled over here is past tense. She is talking about something that happened in past, right? She said I fought with my brother. Now over here, fought is the past tense of fight. Now over here, fight does not mean beating each other, right? Here she says she had an argument. Here we mean verbal fight. Okay, she says I had a quarrel with my brother. I don't know what about. Now she is saying that I don't know what is the actual reason we were fighting for. Now it happens with us also, right? We must be talking very nicely and just talking and talking. We may come to some point which maybe our brother don't like, the sister don't like, and then we start quarrelling. right so she says the same thing that i don't know what is that reason or that main reason that we were fighting for but we started quarreling now in our house also daily is now everybody stays at home right because of this quarantine everybody stays locked up in the house so 
all brothers and sisters now together they must be playing or they're watching tv or whatever it is so fights must be happening daily between the siblings right so it must be very silly reasons okay so that is what she is saying that i quarrel with my brother i don't don't know what about she's saying i don't know what i was fighting for but yes we were having an argument so this is what the first two line now let's move to the next two lines one thing led to another and somehow we fell out now over here what it means that now the poet is is saying how the quarrel started okay so now for example take that uh, brother and sister suppose you and your sister suppose you and your brother or sister you are watch sitting and watching tv okay so maybe your brother is watching some other cartoon you want to watch something else okay now you both want different channels now you may request the other per- person okay your sibling that uh, can we watch this he might say no he or she might say no i want to watch this only now one thing led to another right now this topic may continue you may start fighting and it may go on to some other topic right so that is what the poet is saying saying that while we were arguing one thing led to another it means now we kept on fighting you no know, like the reasons to fight you no know, increased it means one one reason was not enough to fight for it was increasing the quarrel the argument continuously as we were talking and what happened and somehow we fell out now why are we fell out does not mean they fell down okay here fell out means quarrel okay quarrel is means that they started fighting now because of that small reasons what happened because of you know one by one they one they were bringing out things and they were finding reasons to fight okay because obviously no one was going to say that okay i am wrong or he the brother is going to say i am wrong the sister will say i am wrong nobody is going to accept the mistake okay so both of them were finding reasons to fight for and in the, this they started you no know, somehow they quarreled they had an argument that that was very huge and this happens with us also right with one small topic you you know just sitting to discuss with your brother or sister and that suddenly becomes a uh, you know an argument between the two right so that is what happened with them also that what she says in the first uh, four lines that she says she had a quarrel with her brother but she didn't knew what was the reason okay it was something that you know one thing led to another the reasons were increasing Uh, for fighting okay they were give, were giving each other some reasons to fight for they were arguing okay and somehow they had a quarrel they fell out fell out over here is again i'm saying they quarreled they had an argument with each other so this is what the first four line says i hope you are let's move to the next two lines the start of it was slight the end of it was strong now she says that the st- start of it was pity pity over here means it was very small the reason to fight for was very small and it didn't all and it didn't even look like as if they are arguing okay the fight was not so strong and but what happened the end of it was strong now this is how what happens with us also right the we may start with a small little argument that yeah you did this i did this but then that fight turns in, into a huge argument which the whole house might be watching and enjoying right so that is what the poetess is also saying okay that the start is always okay in every argument in every quarrel this is how the quarrel becomes huge that first it will be very slight very small very little but then towards the end the argument increases okay and then it becomes like as if yes they are actually having an argument right so this is what the two lines says now the last two lines of the first stanza he said he was right i knew he was wrong now what happened that in the argument now she is saying that i knew the her that he was wrong it means she's saying that 
the poetess is saying that her bro- the poetess is saying that her brother was wrong in the fight okay but what happened what the brother used to say he used to say that i am right okay so now the poet is saying that i knew he was wrong but still he was continuously fighting continuously having an argument now we also know that if we also have a fight with our brother or sister are we going to accept that it's our mistake no both of them will never accept right the other person will say you are wrong the other person will say you are wrong okay and i know you all must be having this experience okay and nowadays it might be daily that you must be experiencing right so this is what the first stanza of the poem says okay now when i say all this try to recall your own fights okay now don't sit to uh, sit to have a fight with your brother or sister just remember just try to recall because this is something very normal that we all must have gone through okay it's not that it happens only when we are kid even the elders they try to irritate each other with small small arguments have fight have fun so this is a small thing that something that you know happens between the siblings it's very general it's very normal right so this is what happens the 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 poetess also and she describes it in the first stanza so again i'm saying what happen what she says in the first stanza she says that she had a quarrel with her brother and she didn't knew what the quarrel was for okay without any reason the reason very small but then they had a very big argument on that okay she says the start of the argument was very small but then towards the end it became a very big fight and what her brother used to say he used to say that he was right but actually the poet is saying that the brother the brother was wrong and he was not ready to accept his mistake so that is why now they had a big quarrel okay now the next stanza we will do in the next video i'll explain in the next video till then go through the first stanza try to read it again try to understand it again if you are having any doubt please free, feel free to ask in the comment section you can ask the doubt if you didn't understand any line any word of the stanza